Here we're converting percentages to fractions, decimals. So the first example we have 75%. The key thing to keep in mind is percent means per 100. So 75% is 75 per 100, which means it's 75 over 100 as a fraction. We can break that down. 25 divides into both numbers. Goes into 75 three times into 100 four times. So you can break it down to 3 over 4. If you're converting it to a decimal, you simply divide by 100. So 75 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.75. So when converting a percentage to a decimal, just divide by 100. In this case, we get 0 0.75. Our next example is 63%. So as a fraction, that's 63 per 100. So 63 over 100. We can't break that down any further. So it's just 63 over 100. If we were to convert it to a decimal, it's 63 divided by 100, which is equal to 0 0.63. Next one, 255%. So as a fraction, that's 255 per 100. So that's equal to 255 over 100. Break that down to its lowest form. We can divide both numbers by 5. So 5 into 255 goes 51 times. 5 into 100 goes 20 times. So it's 51 over 20, or 2 and 11 over 20. So it's converted to a decimal. We simply divide by 100. So 255 divided by 100 is equal to 2.55. So that's what it is as a decimal. This next example is a little trickier. So we have 12.5%. So it's 12.5 per 100. So that's equal to 12.5 over 100. Now with fractions, we don't like to have decimals involved. So to get rid of this decimal here, we'll multiply above and below by 10. So that'll give us 125 over 1000. So I've just multiplied above and below by 10, just to get rid of the decimal. Now at this point, we've 125 over 1000. So we'll just break it down to its lowest form. We can divide 25 into both numbers. So 25 into 125 goes 5 times. Into 100 goes 40 times. We can see we can break it down again further. We can divide 5 into both numbers. So 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 40 goes 8 times. So we get an answer of 1 over 8. So 12.5% is 1 over 8 as a fraction. So to convert it to a decimal, we divide 12 by 5, 12.5 by 100. So 12.5 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.125. So that's what it is as a decimal. 